God was in the meetings, bowing the hearts of the people. These things, things which have been spoken of easily and without specific significance were suddenly imbued with spiritual meaning and power. When Don, young Donald MacPhail, schoolboy, just beginning his spiritual walk, rose to his feet, he was asked on occasions to, to pray because he had a special touch of God. When he rose to his feet and he said, he rose on one occasion in the police station because the policeman was a Christian and they gathered at the police station. It was really just a, an enlarged home because it was, that was the policeman's home and that's where they gathered. And he rose and clasped his hands together as he did as a little child would do. And he said, Father. And that was enough to break the whole congregation. They wept. The presence of God. He's my father. I don't deserve that. God was in the homes. God was speaking to people. <coughs> Mary speaks about walking along the road. And she says, suddenly the word came to me. Take your shoes from off your feet, for the place whereon you stand on is holy ground. So she said, I, I instinctively walked onto the road. But the same word came to me there, so I stepped back onto the pavement. She said, I went out in the boat with my father and looked down and saw the fish. And it was God who made the fish. Everywhere, everywhere was God. So she said, I'm going to shake this off. She was yet unsafe. I'm going to shake this off. I'm going to the cinema. So she went to the cinema. And when she got into the cinema, what did she see? The first film coming on? The Wonders of the Deep. God was everywhere. She couldn't escape it. Nobody could escape it. Donald McPhail speaks of the, the conviction amongst the sea. Ken, Ken, Kenny McDonald said, wherever you went, you could not get away from the presence of God. Maggie Mary said, where God was everywhere, in the very atmosphere. They were godly, whether they were godly or godless, people knew that. An unsaved man in Arnold said when he was invited to the meetings, I don't need to go to the meetings to know that there's something special and supernatural going on in the village. I feel it in my own home. Unsaved man. So, Catherine Campbell says the presence of God was everywhere, not just in the meetings. We could not get away from the workings of the Holy Spirit. God accompanied you everywhere. That is the abiding memory of the revival. On one occasion, there were some men coming up in the early hours of the morning from some of the meetings. And they came from the meeting. They walked slowly in the night going to their homes. And they got to the head of top of this rise. They stood for a moment and looked back. Lights were burning. This was two, three in the morning. They stood there and looked, there and looked at these men. They took, instinctively took their caps from their head and stood there. And then one said, my brethren, God is everywhere. That's it. When God appears on the scene, He makes Himself known as a felt reality. Repentance, returning, yielding is then easy. The presence of God. It was like a canopy over one area and another. The power of God. Donald McPhail remembers that there was a solemnity that settled in the community and we were convicted whether we attended meetings or not. On the Thursday we had an after meeting at 11 p.m. at number 28 in on, he said, in a home. The atmosphere changed and we were very conscious of the presence of God. Something happened. He said, I was sitting on the steps halfway up. There was my unsaved neighbor beside me and the other, other unsaved neighbor just, just below me. He said, as God swept through that meeting, they cried out for the presence of God. They got saved. Mr. Campbell says, I look back with gratitude to you for all I have witnessed for the mighty power of God during the past six months. Of meetings in Ness, he said, there was a mighty manifestation of the present power of God in the meeting last night. Wave after wave of Holy Ghost power swept over the meetings and strong men were broken down and crying for mercy. And on, the, on a, a remarkable time, again and again, Donald 
Matthias was used in this revival in prayer. He would pray for 20 minutes or half an hour. This young boy, 16, just saved. He was in Burma. They asked him to pray. He stood and he began to pray. He said that morning, we had been reading Revelation 4 and 5. And we were looking at John looking into heaven. And he said, as I rose to pray, my spiritual eyes were opened and I saw heavenly reality. And what I saw, I declared. And I just prayed the things that I saw. He said, when I opened my eyes 20 minutes later, I was astounded to find many people <laughs> over, the next, over, the ne over the back of the next pew. And people were in trances. And people were seeking God in various... Those prayer meetings, those prayer, those prayer partners, those prayer warriors, they carried that word. And this boy was one of them. He's now at the moment, this very moment, he's in Israel uh, doing work out there at the moment. Last night, says Duncan Campbell, we witnessed, witnessed a mighty manifestation of the power of God. And uh, at Kalanish, he says, several men from Arnold came to our assistance as one of them prayed to God. Came, God came down in mighty power, and before the prayer ended, souls were rejoicing in deliverance. Before the prayer ended, souls had got through to God. Others continued on seeking God for weeks and months after that, but they had been, they had been uh, uh, struck by the word and by the power of God. On Friday evening, we had a great manifestation of the power of God in the hall. I had to stop preaching until the cries of the people who came under the power of God were more subdued. Power of God. And then, singing. Singing was a mighty instrument in her life. You see, in, in Lewis, the hymnary is the, the book of Psalms. And they sing the scriptures. They were singing the word of God. And this was filled with the presence of God. And as they began singing, God used the very words that they were singing to bring such an atmosphere of God into the midst. We sang a song this morning, a paraphrase this evening, this morning. Different expressions regarding the singing uh, are, are, are here. Let me just give you a few. The words went straight to my heart. The singing was like fire going through my whole being. The singing was out of this world. I had never heard anything like it. The glory of God was in the singing. Revival singing is anointed singing. I could never describe what the singing meant. The singing was powerful, dynamic. As we sang from our hearts, the atmosphere would change dramatically and it seemed as if heaven itself was present. Kenny MacDonald said, they sang. Oh, how they sang. Margaret MacLeod said, and the singing, it was simply glorious. It was almost supernatural, full of joy and spiritual power. John Murray, and the power of God in the singing, a foretaste of heaven. Mary says, my wife, when the people sang, oh, the shivers chased themselves up and down my spine. I had never heard singing.